What is up everyone? My name is Igor. Welcome to my workshop. I'm happy to report that I have finally completed my Le Marchand's box and I'm releasing the model on Thingiverse. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to print, post-process and assemble it. So, without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? I've been working on this model for quite a while. It all started as an exercise in parametric modeling in Fusion 360 and the decorative panels were sort of an afterthought. In the first version the panels were printed separately then glued and sanded until everything fit. This turned out to be incredibly tedious, messy and time consuming. So I've created version 2 where I only needed to glue the top and the bottom decorative parts. But then I've decided to try to embed these decorations into the top and bottom surfaces, print it at an angle with supports and see how that all works. And thus version 3 was born. I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it was to print and post-process it like this. So version 3 it is. The model is fully prepared for resin printing, it's hollow and has drainage holes. If your printer is aligned properly and you have enough supports, you should be totally able to print it with minimum to no distortions. I'll provide the settings I used for my Elgo Mars printer down in the description. Post-processing is box standard. Carefully pry it off the bed, remove supports using flush cutters, a crowbar or a circular saw as needed. Wash it with isopropanol using an old toothbrush to make sure that all uncured resin is removed from the decorations. Use a syringe to wash the insides. Then cure it as normal. I usually cure my models for about 15 minutes in my ghetto cancer ray box submerged in water. Once the parts are cured, they only need a few final touches. The assembly is much simpler than in the original version and it only takes a little bit of sanding to get rid of small knobs left by supports. Sand it lightly on all sides with 200 to 300 grit sandpaper and that's it. After that you can prime, paint and do whatever you want. And that's it for today. I've uploaded the model of Thingiverse. The link is going to be down there in the video description. Uh, note that this is still work in progress. I'm not sure if I'm happy with these decorative panels being slightly asymmetrical or not. I may actually rework this model and upload a new version, so stay tuned for that. Meanwhile, please let me know down there in the comments uh, if you were able to print and assemble this box. I hope you liked this video. If so, then please click that like button, feel free to share it, consider subscribing to my channel, and your comments and feedback are always welcome. Thanks for watching, happy tinkering, and don't forget to have fun. Bye!